Welcome sa video na to, magsasolve tayo ng mga problems sa topic na strength of materials na part pa rin na or isa sa pinaka major topics sa ECE board exam sa subject na General Engineering and Applied Science. So for problem number 1, a rod 150 cm long and of diameter 20 cm is subjected to an axial pull of 20 kN. If the modulus of elasticity of the material of the rod is 2 times 10 raised to 5 newton per millimeter squared, determine the stress, strain, and the elongation of the rod. So, ano yung formula na gagamitin natin? So, so ito yung formula na gagamitin natin. So, i-copy lang natin tong, So, i-move lang natin to. So, kabila. Ayan. So, ito yung gagamitin nating formulas. So, sa stress, so, force over area. Wherein, yung area natin is pi d squared over 4. So, this area is for simple stress. And, uh, for our strain, ang formula naman is change in length over its original length. Or, pwede rin yung stress over modulus of elasticity. Sa elongation naman, so, ang formula natin is yung may mnemonic na flay. So, force applied times length over area times its modulus of elasticity. So, madali na naman itong so, na problem na to kasi direct substitution lang sa formula. Yun nga lang, medyo pwede tayong malito pagdating sa units kasi dapat pare-para sa unit na gagamitin natin. Particularly sa may unit na kasama ang length. So, kagaya na itong length na 150 cm. 20 cm ay 2 cm and yung isa pang length na naka millimeter squared no so depende sa iyo kung anong gagamitin mo or depende kung ano sa choices yung unit no pero sa case na to para hindi na ako mag-convert pa ng millimeter squared to centimeter squared so gagawin ko na lang reference na unit for length yung millimeter so i-convert ko tong length na 150 cm to millimeter at yung diameter na 2 cm papuntang millimeter. So, sagutan na natin yung stress. So, yung stress is force over pi d squared over 4. So, yung force natin is given na 20 kN. So, 20 kN over pi and yung ating diameter is 2 cm na i-convert natin sa millimeter. So, times 10 lang naman yon So, 20, 20, so, 20 squared over 4. So, type lang natin sa calculator. So, type lang natin. 20 kilo newton over pi pi 20 squared over 4 so ang sagot natin is 63.66 newton per millimeter squared so 66 ano yun 63.66 so ang sagot natin is 63.66 Newton per millimeter squared. So again, ingat tayo sa unit. Pagdating naman sa stress, so etong formula yung gagamitin natin. Since uh, hindi naman given sa atin ito, tong change in length. Ang given lang tong original length na 150 cm long. Pero kakasob lang natin yung ng stress. At meron na rin tayong given na modulus of elasticity so again sulat natin so yung stress natin is 63.66 over yung modulus of elasticity na 2 times 10 raised to 5 input lang sa calculator since yung last value natin yung stress so ilagay lang lang natin answer over 2 times 10 raised to 5 So, ang sagot natin 
is 0 0.318 times 10 raised to negative 3 times 10 raised to negative 3 okay so unit less to no kasi yung stress natin ang unit niya is newton per millimeter squared at ang elasticity or modulus of elasticity natin ganun din yung unit so cancel lang yung unit kaya unit less yung magiging sagot sa strain next para naman sa elongation so sulat lang natin yung values so 20 kilo newton 20k times yung length 150 cm convert sa millimeters so 1500 so 1.5k times yung area ay over so over area yung area natin eto yung kanina pi d squared over 4 so pi d so yung diameter natin is 20 20 squared over 4 multiply by the modulus of elasticity na 2 times 10 raised to 5 so input lang sa calculator One point five times ten raised to three over pi twenty squared over four multiplied by two times ten raised to five. So on sagot natin is zero point four seven seven millimeter. So, 0 0.477 millimeter. So, millimeter, no? Kasi, ang values nito sa taas, sa numerator is uh, newton at millimeter. Sa baba naman is millimeter squared times newton per millimeter squared. So, magka-cancel yung millimeter squared. Magka-cancel rin yung newton dito at yung newton dito. Patitira na lang yung millimeter na nandito. So, syempre, elongation is in terms of length. At ang reference length natin is millimeter. So, ang final answer natin sa elongation is 0 0.477 millimeter. So, ito na yung final answer natin. Yung mga answer natin sa problem na to, 63.66 newton per millimeter squared. 0 0.318 times 10 raised to negative 3 at 0.477 millimeter. So for our next problem, so a rod of radius 12.5 millimeter and of length 250 millimeter is subjected to a tensile load of 50 kilonewton. So what is the ultimate stress if the factor of safety is 2? So ano ba tong factor of safety? So factor of safety, so FOS na lang no? FOS is equal to the ratio of the ultimate stress ultimate ultimate stress over yung working stress natin working stress so yung working stress natin is yung stress na kinocompute natin kagaya kanina yung force over area so, yung ultimate stress kasi parang ito yung maximum stress na pwedeng mangyari sa object natin. And then, ito, sobrang dali lang na ito kasi sa direct substitution na lang ulit. Makukuha, ang pinapahanap kasi sa atin is yung ultimate stress. Pero yung FOS or factor of safety given na rin, yung working stress, kaya natin isolve yan gamit yung, yung given na nasa problem. So, ayan. Lagi lang natin. So, continue natin. Yung FOS natin daw is 2 over. So, lagi lang natin US, no? So, yung working stress natin is force over area. So, yung force natin is 50 kN. kN, no? 
over pi d squared over 4, no? So, pi, yung diameter natin is hindi given, pero given yung radius. So, times 2 lang naman yun. So, again, ang reference unit natin dito is millimeter. So, expect natin na ang sagot na makukuha natin sa ultimate stress is newton over millimeter squared. So, again, yung diameter natin, so, times 2 lang ng radius. So, yung radius natin is 12.5. So, 2 times 12.5. So, naka-millimeter na yan over 4. So, again, squared to, no? So, squared yan. So, ilagay lang natin sa calculator. Kayang-kaya na masolve ni calculator yan. So, 2 is equal to x. Yung hinahanap natin, yung ultimate stress. And then, type natin yung sa working stress na 50 kN over pi 2 times 12.5. Okay, wait lang. 2 times 12.5 squared over 4. So, ship, solve. So, ang sagot na makukuha natin sa ultimate stress is 203.72. 203.72. Ang unit niya is newton per millimeter squared. Okay. So, ito na yung ating final answer. So, for our last problem, so, a member formed by connecting a steel bar to an aluminum bar is shown in the figure. So, ang figure natin, ito. So, ito yung figure natin, no? So, meron daw tayong ganitong figure na naka, dalawang bar na magkapatong sa isa't isa. So, assuming that the bars are prevented from backing sideways, calculate the magnitude of force P that will cause the total length of the member to decrease 0.25 mm. The values of elastic modulus for steel and aluminum are 2.1 times 10 raised to 5 newton per millimeter squared and 7 times 10 raised to 4 newton per millimeter squared respectively. So, ang pinapahanap sa atin is yung P na to. So, ito yung force daw na nag act sa dalawang magkapatong na steel bar. So, given din sa atin yung length each bars. So, dalawa kasing magkaibang bar to, no? Dalawang different type of uh, metal. So, steel and aluminum. Then, ito, itong dimension na to, ito yung dimension ng steel bar. So, pag minultiply natin yan, ito na yung area 1. So, 5 cm by 5 cm. Ito, na, ito rin 10 cm by 10 cm. Ito na yung area 2. And then, ito, length 1. At ito rin yung length 2. So, bali dalawang different objects to. And aalamin natin yung force na nag act sa kanila. And then, may given din tayo na 0.25 mm. So, ito yung change in length. So, ito yung total change in length, yung 0.25 mm. So, anong formula yung gagamitin natin? So, ang formula dyan is yung DL over uh, force times yung length 1 over area 1 times elasticity 1 plus L2 over A2 times E2. So, ito yung formula na gagamitin natin. So, magkakaiba kasi yung length nila. Magkaiba rin yung area nila at saka yung modulus of elasticity nila. Pero, parehas lang yung force na nag sa kanilang dalawa. Yung DL na sinasabi, sinasabi ko kanina, etong 0.25 mm. So, ito yun. So, meron na tayong DL. Meron na tayong length 1, area 1. Yung... Uh, Modulus of elastic 
na mod elastic modulus ng steel meron na rin tayong length 2 meron tayong area 2 at meron na rin tayong elastic modulus of aluminum so ship sold na lang ulit yan so i-retype natin yung ating mga values so 0.25 again yung reference unit natin for length is millimeter so 0.25 so 0.25 millimeter equal to force over times so length 1 natin so all in that yun so ito yung length 1 natin naka centimeter so convert natin yan sa millimeter so isa naman 38 centimeter ko convert rin natin yan sa millimeter so times 10 lang naman so yung length natin is 30 times 10 so 300 300 millimeter over yung area so hindi na natin gagamitin yung pi d squared over 4 no? kasi given na dito yung dimension yun nga lang naka centimeter so i-convert natin yung ating area 2 millimeter so 5 centimeter that's 50 millimeter times 50 millimeter so 50 times 50 lang yan 50 times 50 times yung area yung elasticity 1 na 2.1 2.1 times 10 raise to 5 okay plus okay move lang natin so plus yung length 2 so alin, ano ulit yun yung length 2 is 38 centimeter gawin natin millimeter so 380 380 millimeter over dimension naman nung sa baba 10 by 10 so 100 by 100 millimeter so 100 times 100 multiplied so multiply by modulus of elasticity natin na ulit yun. so 7 times 10 raised to 4 so 7 times 10 raised to 4 so again no millimeter yung ginamit natin kasi yung modulus of elasticity rin natin is naka millimeter so ito type lang natin sa calculator yan type lang natin so, 0.25 equal to x times 300 over 50 times 50 times 2.1 times 10 raised to 5 plus 380 over 100 times 100 times 7 times 10 raised to 4 press ship cut so solve for x so makukuha natin yung sagot dyan is so times 10 raised to 3 so kilo yan no So, bali, ang magiging sagot natin is 224.36 kN. So, P is 224.36 kN. So, this is our final answer.